All right, y'all. Peace and blessings. God bless you all. I'm Jarvis Kingston, and I hope that y'all doing all right and staying strong and solid in these times that we're in. I pray that you have repented and that you are baptized. I pray that you are safe, protected, and prayed up. And I just pray that whatever situation that you're going through, that the Lord is with you, that he guides you, protects you, he looks out for you, he comforts you. I pray that your mental health gets better and that you become more strong and wise in the Lord. I pray that you keep fighting the good fight of faith. You keep running your race. You keep your eyes fixed on the Messiah. You keep your eyes fixed on the prize. You stay on that narrow straight gate path you help out plenty of people along your journey forevermore amen always remember that the lord will never leave you nor forsake you and that the messiah intercedes for you the spirit intercedes for you as well so always stay thankful grateful appreciative and take it one day at a time most definitely let's thank the lord for another day let's thank the lord for waking us up and giving us another day to seek his face let's thank the lord for food in our belly clothes on our back and a roof over our head let's thank the lord for protecting us coming in and going out guiding us through the morning getting us through the afternoon getting us through the evenings getting us through the nights he is constantly looking out for us with his grace mercy favor love the outstretched arm of god the mighty hand of god the finger of god his word his only begotten son who died for our sins there's plenty of things the most has done for us through our life so we continue to keep doing for us because his mercy is everlasting and his truth endures forever amen so always keep him first always worship him praise him thank him call on him sing a song to him trust him and everything you got going on in your life hearken to his word hearken to his voice cling on to the lord cleave on to the most high okay and stay strong in him hallelujah praise him always forever most definitely welcome everyone i appreciate all of you for listening and supporting it means a lot to me i love you all praying for you all let us always uplift each other in christ and encourage each other in the lord let's always pray for each other intercede for one another comfort each other lift each other up support each other all those great awesome amazing things people brothers and sisters of the faith all over the world let's be together on one accord for the lord amen much love to the 12 tribes of israel Israel scattered all four corners of the earth, all the scattered Israelites among the nations, all ends of the earth. Much love to the churches and ministries out there with the sound doctrine, the peace, the love, the harmony, the fellowship, and the services. Much love to the previous martyrs, the current martyrs, and the future martyrs, the brave, bold, isolated, courageous believers who are going through it for the gospel, who are being persecuted for the faith, who are going through many hardships and tribulations for his namesake. Stay strong, steadfast, firm, and encouraged. We are always by your side. The Messiah is with us always forever till the end of age, so stay strong and steadfast and firm forever. Much love to the great tribulation saints down the road. Much love to all the grafted in Gentiles of all nations, tribes, languages, just tongues, races, faces, kinches all over the world. Much love to all the brand new converts out there, all the brand new creatures of Christ out there, all the born again people, the Holy Spirit filled people. God bless all believers, all walks of life everywhere, most definitely. Anyone who just repented, God bless you. Anyone who just got baptized, God bless you as well. Anybody who's having dreams, encounters, visions, testimonies, God bless you as well. If you did not repent and get baptized, go repent and get baptized ASAP immediately. Shalom, family, greens to all of you. Welcome everyone, all peoples, all nations, all tribes, all languages, all tongues, all races all faces all kindreds everybody let everything that has breath praise the lord all the animals all the creatures all the beasts all the fishes in the sea the birds in the air the trees the plants the mountains the insects let all of god's creation praise him amen whether you are an israelite or a gentile it is all right whether you are chosen or adopted grafted in it is all right let us gather together and praise the most high sing a new song clap our hands thump our feet praise him rejoice always rejoice make a joyful noise make a joyful sound crowd to him dance express yourself play an instrument do what you have to do for the most high god he is always watching us so always serve him with gladness and joy and always worship in spirit and truth. Amen. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. Love the Lord your God for your mind, heart, soul, strength, and might. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. Let us keep doing Father's business and Father's will for the rest of our lives till the sun comes back. Amen. He is coming back like a thief in the night in a twinkling of an eye. He is coming back at an hour nobody knows but the Father. Let us be alert, sober, vigilant, watchful, prayed up. Washed by the water, by the word, the washing of the water through the word. Let us keep our lamp and oil. Let us stay in our purpose and call for the most high God. Let us know the Lord better. Let us get more close to him. Let us seek his face. Draw near to God and he will draw near to you. Let us obey the gospel. Let us obey the law, statutes, and commandments. Let us obey all of God's word. Anything the Most High has told us personally according to our life, our calling, our purpose, our situation, our gifts, our talents, our circumstances, handle it, people. Keep it all together for the Most High God. Keep the faith. Keep the word of God. Keep the testimony of the Messiah. Keep the law, statutes, commandments, decrees, precepts, ordinances, covenants, judgments, charges, observances, everything. Get a five-subject notebook. Get a pack of 24 pens. Get a Bible and write a whole copy of the Torah from Genesis this all with the Deuteronomy, by the job, by the tittle, by the line, by the precept. Embrace that new covenant and take it one day at a time, people, and keep pressing forward. Amen. A lot going on in the world, probably a lot going on in your personal life, but we trust in the most high through it all. Amen. Most definitely, for sure. So in today's message, what I love to do is go to today's daily devotional in the email. And then from there, I will close out with the prayer. I will close out with the priestly blessing. And I will close out giving all the praise, honor, and glory to the most high God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And praise his only begotten son who died for our sins. Amen. Hallelujah. So here we go. 
All right. The day of devotional starts off with your daily prayer of the book of John, chapter 9, verse 25. It starts off with the quote, spiritual vision brings clarity that the eyes cannot provide. Quote, amen. Today's daily devotional focuses on Jesus healing a man born blind. The disciples assumed the man's blindness was due to sin, but Jesus clarified it was for God's glory. After being healed, the man bravely testified before the Pharisees, revealing their spiritual blindness. Story, Bible in a year, blind at birth. Scripture, Jesus answered, neither has this man sinned nor his parents, but that the works of God should be made manifest in him. John chapter 9 verse 3. Have you ever faced a situation where others misunderstood your struggles? In John chapter 9, Jesus encounters a man who had been blind from birth. The disciples reflect the common beliefs of the time, assumed his blindness was a punishment for sin. Jesus, however, corrected their misunderstanding, explaining that the man's condition was an opportunity to display God's power and works. How often do you find yourself misjudging other circumstances? Jesus' healing of the blind man is a great demonstration of his power and compassion. After the miracle, the man was brought before the Pharisees, who were determined to discredit Jesus. Despite intense questioning, the healed man stood firm, declaring that only someone truly could perf- only someone truly good could perform such a miracle. His bold testimony highlighted the Pharisees' spiritual blindness and their refusal to acknowledge the truth of Jesus' divinity. Do you have the courage to stand firm in your faith, even when questioned or doubted by others? The formerly blinded man's unwavering stance before the Pharisees challenges us to examine our own faith and willingness to testify to God's work in our lives. His experience teaches us that physical sight is not as crucial as spiritual vision. Recognizing and proclaiming Jesus' work in our lives requires faith, courage, and the willingness to face opposition. What can you do to strengthen your spiritual vision? Reflecting on this story, we are encouraged to look beyond physical circumstances and seek God's hand at work. Jesus calls us to understand deeper truths and stand firm in our faith. Even when others question or misunderstand us, or misunderstood by us, by doing so we can help others see the light of Christ through testimony and actions. Amen. Reflection. Reflect on areas in your life where you may be quick to judge other struggles. Are there misconceptions or misunderstandings you need to address? Take time to pray for spiritual insight and ask God to help you see his work in every situation. Embrace opportunities to testify to God's goodness, even when faced with doubt or opposition. As you go up, as you go about your week, strive to look beyond the surface and see God's purpose in every circumstance. Amen. When God's people pray, the Lord listens and answers. We live in troubled times, but God will still provide for us. He will always have his hand on us as a people, and we need the most high more than ever needed now. Together, let's pray. Scripture, he answered and said, whether he be a sinner or no, I know not. One thing I know that whereas I was blind, now I see. John chapter 9, verse 25, the prayer. Jesus, as you move in my life, I understand that there are people who are, who are bent on trying to hold to my past condition. However, because it is you who has healed me and has transformed me, I will stand boldly and proclaim your truth, even if it means I may be thrown out of certain circles and relationships. I declare that you came so that the blind can see and receive a new life, so that those who are focused on traditions will be will be silenced because you value faith and a humble and contrite heart before pride and ego. Thank you for opening my eyes, Jesus. Thank you for taking the time to sit and talk with me when I felt thrown out and abandoned by those close to me. Through your power, Jesus, I now walk with a new vision and a a new outlook on life. I once was blind, but now I see, and I have you to thank for it, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. All praises to the most high God of heaven and earth. Yes, he is the God of Shem, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob. He is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob forever. He is the God of Israel. He is the God of the Hebrews. He is the God of Jeshurun. He is the God of Noah, Job, and Daniel. Hallelujah. Praise the most high God. He is the Lord of the armies. Yes, he is the God of David. Praise the most high God. His only begotten son died for our sins and rose up three days later. Much love to the Messiah for sons, but for all of us. Hallelujah. Praise the most high. Praise the Messiah. Praise the Lord. Yes, he is the last Adam, the second Adam. Praise the Lord. Yes, he is the advocate. Hallelujah. Praise him. He is the almighty, true, and living God. Praise the Lord, the Alpha and Omega. Amen. The apostle of our profession, the arm of the Lord, the atonement sacrifice for our sins, the author and finisher of our faith, the author and perfecter of our faith, the author of life, the author of salvation, the beginning and the end, the beginning of creation of God, the beloved son, the blessed and only potent, the blessed and only ruler, the blessed and only sovereign, the branch, the bread of God, the bread of life, the bridegroom, the capstone, the captain of salvation, the chief cornerstone, the chief shepherd, Christ, the Christ of God, the consolation of Israel, the corner the stone, the counselor, wonderful counselor, the creator, the day spring, the deliverer, the desire of the nations, the door, the elect of God, Emmanuel, Emmanuel, God is with us, eternal life, everlasting father, faith and true witness, faithful and true, the faithful witness, the first and last, the first begotten, the first born from the dead. 
Firstborn over all creation, the forerunner, the gate, the glory of the Lord, God, the good shepherd, the great high priest, the great shepherd, the head of the church, the hair of all things, the heir of all things, the high priest, holy and true, the holy one, the hope, the hope of glory, the horn of salvation, the I am, the I am, that I am, the I am, who I am, the great I am, the image of God, Jehovah, 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 Jireh, Jehovah, Shalom, Jehovah, Nassai. Jesus of Nazareth, Jesus, the judge of Israel, the judge, king eternal. He is a king of Israel. Amen. He's the king of kings. Hallelujah. He's the king of kings and Lord of lords. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest praise. Hosanna, the son of David. Blessed be he that comes in the name of the Lord. We have blessed you out of the house of the Lord. King of saints, king of the ages, king of the Jews, the king, the lamb, the lamb of God, the lamb without blemish, the last Adam, the lawgiver, the leader and commander, the life, the lie of the world, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the living one, the living stone, the Lord, the Lord, our righteousness, the Lord is holy. The Lord is my banner. The Lord is my portion. The Lord is my strength, my rock, my refuge, my good fortress, my high tower, my shield, my buckler, my safety, my defense, my protector, our provider, our salvation, our redeemer, our protector forever, our helper. Praise him. Yah, Yahweh, Yahuwah, Yahweh, Shai, Yahweh, Ben Yahweh, Yahai, Yeshai, Yeshua, Hamashiach, Barakatha, Shalom, Shalom, Yeshua, Elohim, Yehosha, Yehusha, Yehosha, Ahai, Yeshaya, Adonai, Abba. He is a consuming fire. He is the father of heavenly lights. He is the father of the fatherless, the father of widows, the the father of mercies. He is the God of heaven and earth. His son sits at the right hand of him. The government rests on his shoulders. He is the great physician could cure all things, heal all things. He is the carpenter could fix all things. With God, all things are possible. Nothing is too hard for the Lord. God made everything in six days and rested on the seventh day. He could fix your situation right now in the name of Jesus. We touch and agree, y'all. Call on him and show you great mighty things. Search and seek him with all your heart and you will find him. He is a reward to those who seek him diligently. Know that he exists. Believe in him. Trust him. They could do for you. Abide in him. Abide in his word. Ask the father what you need in the son's name. It shall be given to you. Healing, restoration, deliverance, miracles, signs, wonders, help, double portion, blessings, unexpected good news, unexpected good turnarounds, favor. I speak those things going in your favor forever in your life. I speak that in your life forever. Yes, we know that for the rest of our lives, the outstretched arm of God will be in our lives forever. The mighty hand of God will be in our lives forever. The finger of God will be in our lives forever. Yes, we are in agreement with the father, son, Holy Spirit. God is one. We know for sure that we, are, we our faith has saved us. Our faith has blessed us. Our faith is how we overcome the world. Yes, we walk by faith and not by sight. We're justified by faith and Messiah that just shall live by faith for sure. Yes, y'all, the most high God got us forever, y'all. His timing is perfect timing, due timing, all timing. God, hallelujah, praise him. Yes, he is the Lord of all, the Lord of glory, the Lord of lords, the man from heaven, the man of sorrows, the mediator of the new covenant, the mediator, the messenger of the covenant, the Messiah, the mighty God, the mighty one, the morning star, the Nazarene, the offspring of David, the only begotten son of God, our great God and savior, our holiness, our husband, our Passover, our protection, our redemption, our righteousness, our sacrifice, the Passover lamb, the power of God, the precious cornerstone, the prince of kings, the prince of life, the prince of peace, the prophet, the redeemer, the resurrection of life, the resurrection, the resurrected of life, the life giver, the abundant life, the revelation, the revelator, the righteous branch, the righteous one, the radiant one, the perfect example, the rock, the root of David, the rose of Sharon, the rule of God's creation, the rule of the kings of the earth, the savior, the seed of woman, the shepherd and bishop of souls, the Shiloh, the son of Abraham, the son of David, the son of God, the son of man, descendant of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, son of the blessed, son of the most high God, the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him, the son of righteousness, the just one, the one mediator, the stone the builders rejected, the true bread, the true God, the true light, the true vine. He is the truth, amen. He is the way, hallelujah. He is the way, truth, and life. Praise him. The wisdom of God, the witness, the wonderful counselor, the word, the word of God, the word of life, the word of Yahuwah, the word of Elohim, the word made flesh, the living word, the word of Yehovah, the word of Yahusha, hallelujah. Praise him. His word is pure, fine, silver, just as David said in the Psalms. We know that every word of God is true, pure, and false, the book of Proverbs says. And we know that his word is a double-edged sword, the book of Hebrews says. I mean, we touch and agree, y'all. The Messiah is the high priest of the order of Melchizedek. He is a sinless high priest. He's the way everlasting, the everlasting king. Prayers are for all peoples, all walks of life. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debt doors. And do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the honor and the glory forever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. And they shall put my name on the children of Israel and I will bless them. Shalom. Amen. Selah. Barakatha. I'm Jairus. Kingston, I love you all. Praying for you all, okay? Write a copy of that Torah. Forgive others that the Heavenly Father can forgive you. And stay strong out there, people. Press forward. Peace.